It's like a chain reaction, one story of sexual abuse triggering another until people wake up to a full-blown scandal. Now, there have been a number of cases in the news recently, but none quite like this. The past catching up so dramatically with a teacher who betrayed his trust. We have to warn, though, some of the language is explicit. Jane Hansen reports. It's a school that promises the best in Christian education. But for some, St Joseph's College Geelong represents a place of torment. He was almost doing favours for me in return for mm -hmm. sexual favours for himself. How many were there? Do you know how many there were? How yeah. many? More than just Chris? How many kids' lives have you destroyed? It was 23 years ago that Chris Pianto suffered the sex abuse that has haunted him all his life. Now he confronts the man responsible. It's too late now, Doug. I've suffered for six years over this life. Oh, poor Mr. Alan Albert Swingler. Do you have an apology? Would it help for you to say sorry? I speak to my lawyer and then I'll go from there, please. Sexual abuse isn't just stealing of somebody. It's destroying the life. Six years ago, Chris broke his silence on a secret he'd been too terrified to tell. You know, I heard my brother was going to be taught by the same teacher, and I didn't want that to happen. So I had to tell someone. That same teacher was Alan Swingler, the man Chris says sexually abused him for two years between the ages of 12 and 14. He first kept me in after school and put his hand down my pants, down the front of my pants and fondled until gradually it come to having to perform oral sex and he tried to perform anal sex on me. Pianto went to the police and Alan Swingler was charged. But it was one man's word against another. The case was dropped and Chris resorted to desperate measures in an attempt to be believed. When charges against the teacher were dropped, Chris decided to highlight the problem by shooting himself in the leg and then go public about his experience. It was a plea for help, I think. Please believe me. This thing did happen and the man is still free and he's done the same to a lot of other kids. For six years, this story lay dormant and it looked like staying that way, despite a multitude of whispers around Geelong. But earlier this month, another man finally came forward to tell of similar abuse at the same school. And it was enough to have the case reopened. Join me, please. Hi, um, Senior Sergeant Jim May. This is Stephen Bissonella here. Um, I'm ringing because I've decided to, uh, I want to make a statement about sexual abuse that occurred to me when I was at St Joseph's when, when I was 10, 11 till I was about 14 years of age. Stephen Bissonella is not talking about Alan Swingler, but another St Joseph's teacher. Stephen alleges when he was 10 years old, his then physical education teacher, John Coogan, sexually abused him for four years. Then he started fondling me and um, Afterwards, just kept on repeatedly telling me not to tell anyone about what he called our little tickle. And from then on, it just continued at school, at lunchtime, two to three times a week, um, under the, the guise of um, doing weight training. Stephen went public with his allegations, and police have been inundated with other calls from former students of St Joseph's. They thought that they were the only ones that this was happening to. And Senior Sergeant Jim Maffey of the Geelong Community Policing Squad. Once uh, the first uh, former student broke the ice um, with the um, article in a newspaper, uh, the other students thought, oh, well, I'm not alone here. Um, it, it has been happening to others. Um, I'll come forward and um, go on with it as well. It's really weird how many people there were, I know, in the same class, and yeah. no one ever said anything 
to anyone else. Yeah. Richard Mindjess was in the same class as Stephen Bissonella. He also alleges the same experience with physical education teacher John Coogan. He was 14 at the time. So he got me on the bench press and I was lying back and push, pushing weights. And he sat on my lap and suggested that he had to sit there to, to keep my legs straight, etc. And um, grabbed the, the top of my, my sport shirt, shorts and um, slowly worked his way down, down my pants. Richard alleges the abuse with Coogan continued for three months. And he said that it was all OK and, and this is what goes on between men in the gymnasiums and uh, enjoy it. I'd like to ask you about some allegations of sex abuse against former students of yours at St Joseph's. Oh, dear, you know, that's a bit odd, isn't it? Well, do you name, know the name Richard Mindjess? Who? Stephen Bissonella? These are boys that are now men that allege that you sexually right. abused right. them. He'd expose oh, himself right? and um, he'd, he'd um, you know, place his penis, you know, on me, but he'd never, um, it wasn't a penetration thing. and. Um, involve masturbation of me mainly. He's when, made when the he allegations first, mate, to you on the phone, hasn't he? When he made, went, yes, and I said to him, God. What, you think Stephen's making it up? I said, gee, you're joking. I said, God, you know. I was shocked. I, actually, I was really dumbfounded. Were you? And I, well, why and would to Stephen be quite honest, up? I didn't. Why so, would Stephen ring you up and say, did remember? Did he phone? Did you he? know he called you? Someone called, but I don't know whether it was Steve. John Coogan, now retired and living on the Gold Coast, denies all the allegations. Why would two men well, who didn't know about each other have separate accounts of you sexually abusing them? I think that you've caught me on the hop. This sad and sorry tale gets worse. You see, Richard claims he was not only violated by John Coogan, but also Alan Swingler, the same man who abused Chris Pianto. He let me in his room and he shut the door behind me and locked it. At that stage he started fondling my crutch and, um, and I became a bit aroused and so he, he took it out of my pants, took my penis out of my pants and um, told me that yeah, it was all okay because I was, I was aroused and that sort of stuff. Do you deny the allegation? I told you I had no comment to make. Starting to eat at you, is it? Do you have regrets now? I've got no comment to make. What about Richard? Richard, mind yes. He remembers you too. Can you say sorry? To these boys? What? Can you say that much? I've got a past too. <laughs> It's killed me too, and I can't comment. I'm protecting people. You've got my past. Were you can't abused? Comment. Were you abused? I'm saying I can't comment on my past. That was an orphanage. Alan Swingler claims to be a victim as well, sexually abused at age 10 in Melbourne St Vincent's orphanage. If anything, it's an indication how the crime of child abuse repeats itself. You knew what it felt like then. Right? Did you realise that you would make these boys feel the same as what you felt? Did you realise that at the time? Or do you realise it now? Mr Swingler? Yeah, speak to my lawyer and speak to him and go from there. As boys, these men felt preyed upon, betrayed and exploited by the men they looked up to. It makes you a total emotional cripple. At the time, you just shut down all your feelings and emotions and leave, you're left very confused and in fear. The scale of the abuse that went on here during the 60s and 70s is still largely unknown. Each of the 12 men who have come forward knows of someone else. I'd say it's been going on for a lot more years than what I was abused for. And uh, it's just a matter of those blokes, if they want to come out and, and join with us.
What would you say to these boys now who are very hurt? Hurt as much as you do? Anything? I'm sorry for what's happened in the past. Yes, so many lives ruined, Joan Hanson there. The principal of St Joseph's College, Geelong, tells us the school will offer full cooperation to police and he assures all students, past or present, that any complaints will be thoroughly investigated. After the break, backyard beauty injections and the women who live to regret them.